hi everyone in this video which is part of the node.js how to series we're going to be learning how to use transform streams now in previous videos we've learned how to use streams to read files in chunks and to write to files in chunks now remember that i mentioned in those videos if you haven't watched those videos you can check them out that streams also allow you to process files in chunks in fact that is one of the main advantages of using streams if you have a file like 4 gig or a 2 gig file instead of trying to read the whole thing and then process it you can actually read it in chunks and process it in chunks so transform streams allows us to make changes to files in chunks so to begin i have a file here inside the project directory it's called some file.txt if we look at what is inside the file you can see i have dev talk welcome to dev talk with fk written uh line by line now what i'm going to do is i'm going to read this file in chunks and i'm going to transform every single piece of content in this file in chunks so let's see how to do that um first let's create our file let's say transform .js. yes yeah, transform correctly transform.js and once we have that i'm just going to open it up i'm going to open up the project in visual studio code now we have our project open in visual studio code and we can get to work so first let's open transform.js so first we're going to need the fs model let's say require fs that's good now the next thing we're going to need is the stream model and from the stream model we're going to need the transform class the transform class of the stream model so let's bring that in let's bring stream in not streams stream this is uh, the Node.js stream core model. So we have those two and now we can get to work. So what we're going to be do doing is this. We're going to create a readable stream. We're going to create a readable stream and that readable stream is going to be piped to what we will learn as a transform stream. So we're going to create a transform stream. The readable tr stream is going to pass through the transform stream and is going to be transformed by the transform stream and then whatever result we get from the transform stream is going to be written to a new file which is going to be done by a writable stream got it cool so let's go ahead uh let me just leave this here for reference so first let's create a readable stream we're going to say const uh, read stream and we're just going to create a read stream from our file good good so next we are going to create the let's just create the writable stream now we're going to create the write stream and say fs dot create write stream and we're going to be writing the results of the transform stream to a new file and i'm just going to call that new file dot txt so we have the readable stream and we have the write stream now let's create a transform stream to create a transform stream, I'm going to say const, and this transform stream, what we want it to do is to reverse all the text in this file. We want to reverse everything inside this file, every string inside this file, we want it reversed. So I'm just going to call this stream reverse, that's the operation that the transform stream is going to be doing. And to create that, we're going to say new transform, and this transform class is going to take an initialization object. And inside our initialization object, which is like an options object, I'm going to be creating a transform function. This function is going to take in some arguments. The first one is the chunk. That's the chunk that we're currently iterating over. The second one is the encoding of the data that is coming. And a callback. So we have the three arguments. Now inside this, what we're simply going to do is to call our callback call our callback the first assumption is an error object that if there was an error in the input to this transform stream I'm just going to set that to null for this practice um next we would pass in what we want to the transformation we want to make to our file or rather the transformation we want to make to the content of our file that's this chunk how do we want to change this chunk so like i said we're going to be reversing the text so whatever comes from this chunk the first thing i want to do is to make sure that it's in the string format so i'm going to call to string on this 
then there's no way to directly reverse a string. There's no um, function to directly reverse a string. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert this to an array. But to do the, to before I do that, I'm going to just give us some more screen real estate here. And the first function we'll call is the split function. We're going to split this with no spaces. Then once we have our array, we can then reverse the content of the array and then convert the array back to a string using join. So with this, we can successfully, or we have successfully reversed the string in this chunk. And it is automatically passed back to the next stream in the pipeline. So we have our read stream, our write stream, and we have the reverse transform stream. Now let us apply it. To do that, we're going to be using the magical pipes. So the first thing we do is get our read stream, then pipe it to our transform stream, which is reverse. And whatever the output of reverse it is, rather, let's pipe it to the right stream. Let's write it to the new file. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. Everything looks good. Just going to save this file. Hope we get no errors. Save the file. Go back to the command line. Just going to clear this. And say node transform. Yeah. It returns with no errors, so that is good news. And just clear this once again. Okay. I think it's back to normal. So it returns with no errors as we've seen. So that's good. I don't know why this keeps happening. <laughs> anyway, let's uh look at what we have in our folder now. As you can see, we now have new file.txt. So we know that that has been created. Now let's check the content of the file. Let's see if the content has been reversed. Say cat, new file, voila. Welcome to devtalk. Uh, rather, welcome to devtalk with FK, all reversed, every single line. We have been able to use our transform stream to transform content of a file into a different type of content and we have been able to send that into another file. You can do this type of operations on any type of file. You can do it with database operations, any readable stream. You can transform it and write it to another stream. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And for more videos on how to use Node.js to do stuff, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.